He goes, point three, the last round, he goes, run your race. He just goes, run your race. I love it. He didn't say win your race. He goes, run your race. Now, check this out. Now, Paul breaks into a theme that they would have understood in Corinth, okay? He says this. Um, by the way, in Corinth, look up here for a second. In Corinth, I've been there several times. They had a huge arena that held 20,000 people. The, the Sort of the other Olympics of the day, the Smithian Games, were at the Corinthian Arena. Um, they would pack this stuff. People came from all over the world to participate in sort of that version of the Olympics, okay? And with that as a back, these people would know exactly what Paul is referring to when he says these words. Don't you know that in a race, all the runners run? but only one gets the prize. Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. And then he goes, they do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that lasts what? Forever, okay? Uh, the, and then he says this, therefore, I don't run like someone running aimlessly. I don't fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. You know what? That's his fifth rant, and here is his. He's, here's what he's saying. Right. Quit looking at the wrong scoreboard. Stop looking at the wrong scoreboard. These Corinthians killed themselves. They, they, got, they got so intense about these games, some people at the end of a long marathon died. They gave their entire lives to win that race, okay? Because they were looking at the scoreboard, of, I want to win the prize for this Olympic thing. By the way, you know what the prize was? You know what the prize for winning the Olympics was? It was a wreath that went on your head that was made of celery. Give your entire life for salary. Or give your entire life for salary. And he's going, make sure you're looking at the right scoreboard. And then, if you're taking notes, he goes this. When he says, run your race, what he's really saying is this. Keep running. Keep running. If you've stopped running, start running. He's going, keep running. He goes, you don't, have, you don't have to win, just get back up and keep running. And I'll close this message with this video. In 1992, this happened in the Olympic 400 meters, okay? And a runner from Britain, where we just were, a runner from Great Britain, um, snapped a hamstring, and he was favored to be one of the winners of this event. And check out what happens. Sergio Hernandez out quickly in four. Now down the back stretch. Ismael on the left of the screen is running very, very quickly. And inside of Lewis, Sunday Bada of Nigeria. And Derek Redman of Great Britain has pulled up with an injury. Redman is out. Derek Redman, the British record holder and an important member of that British 4x400 four meter relay team as he doesn't want anybody to help him. And it'll be Lewis to win in 44.50. Look at this. He's going to try to finish his semifinal race. The British have a certain tradition of running, which you have to respect. A bizarre finish to this first semifinal in the men's 400 meters. Derek Redmond of Great Britain pulled up with an injury halfway down the back stretch. He's fighting off those trying to help him to finish the race in his lane. And now the pain too much. Watch this dad now. swelling throughout Olympic Stadium as Redmond, with assistance this time, approaches the finish line he had wanted so desperately to reach.
That is the Olympic spirit. Is that awesome or what? They just wipe your eyes and the shoulders of the person next to you. The, I'll close with this. That's the perfect way to end this. Paul is saying, run your race, okay? Anybody here ever fallen down? Okay? You know what I'm saying? Get back up. Your race isn't over, but you don't run alone. Your heavenly Father, at any second, at any time, is willing to get out of the stands, walk up to you. He said, I never leave you. I will never forsake you. You can get back up, and you will never run alone. Okay. I know it's a lot of information. Thanks for listening. I love this passage. God bless you all. Have a great week. So God bless.